this is a this is a scene. I happened to be up in Stowe, Vermont, this this winter, and I was driving around with my buddy, and uh, she drove right into Stowe, and I saw this view. I went, "Oh my God, that's gorgeous! Uh, that church and everything—it's right up my alley." So uh, I'm going to attempt to paint this for you tonight. I don't know if I'll get it done, but I will do my best. Um, just a couple of things. How many here are watercolors? I'm just curious. Oh, good. Wow. All right. Um, uh, I'm going to. Uh, uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you is that I, you can come up and watch me. If you can't see, I'm. I don't mind at all. I paint plain air. People coming up to me all the time asking great questions like, "What is that?" You know, <laughs> really, really fun things. Oh, my art paints. Oh. You know. But anyway. I don't mind if you come up and, and watch, um, and I'm going to get going. Watercolors work light to dark, but well, most watercolors do. And uh, I'm going to start with the sky and get in some highlights and put my glasses on so I can see. Oh, there we go. Um, excuse me, Bill. Yes. One thing. Some of the people on Zoom are having difficulty hearing you. You know what? <laughs> I hope it won't affect your. Oh, well, I'm going to be a mess now. I'm going to have something to play. All right, so we're going to get going on the sky. I'm going to um, wet this sponge. This is a natural sponge. I just want to dampen the sky so I can put in a couple of clouds. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Um, no. Yeah, no, you can adjust it however you want, and Everybody I can. Just gotta sit down. <laughs> I'm going to start. I'll try to uh, mention colors as I'm doing things. I'm going to start with cobalt blue, some rose matter, and just a hint of. Raw sienna to do some fictitious clouds along in here. Wow, it's a dry room. This is already already pretty much dried up. Mm. That's very that's interesting. Okay. The sunlight's coming from this angle right here, so I want a few highlights on my clouds. So I'm gonna go right for my raw sienna. And then I'm going to use more tones here. And you're more than welcome to ask questions as I go along, please. I, I don't mind at all. And then, I'm curious if this is a is this like a sort of underpainting or a first layer? The sky will be uh, is the I never go back into a sky, so this will be. This will be the, the cat, you know, the, the real thing. Um, when I get going on the rest of it, it will be uh, washes and glazes, and I'll explain that as I go along. What kind of paper you see? This is Saunders 300 pound rough, mm. and I've never. I, I just recently purchased this Saunders paper. I usually use Arches cold press. Remember I asked the question. And um, this is pretty cool. I like this paper. You have better than arches? Uh, it's different. I don't know which one I like better yet. Oh. Oh, I'm just getting some blue sky. Oh, I love that color. This Great. is um, manganese blue. Mm. It's, I, I usually use cerulean. This is, this is very new for me. So you're all guinea pigs at this. So. Have you used the matter yet? Rose matter is, is in the um, purple. those purples. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna pull. There's a there's a whole mountain scene behind here. I'm just gonna pull it down. Okay, cool. So that I will not touch that again. That's it. That's done. Um, there's a funny thing going on right here. No big deal. I could put a little darker. There, maybe a little bit more in there, but I, as I said, I do not like to get back into a sky once I've done it. Usually it leads to trouble. <laughs> uh, but now, someone asked the question: Do you glazes underneath or 
preliminary washes. Now you're going to see some. Um, I'm, my, I did a value sketch, which is extremely important for watercolor. Um, and what here, I'm going to turn this around because hopefully you can see that. I'm sorry for anyone on TV, you can't see that. Okay, so I want a nice streak of light coming across here, which is not in my photo. This building over here on the left is much, much lighter, but I want my focal area is down in here, so I don't want that to be too bright, so I want to try to remember that as I go along, and I want to make that dark. But this is my roadmap to how I want to paint. It's very important for watercolors. It's very important for everyone to do this, but especially watercolor, because watercolor is not as forgiving. Not that oil is easy, because we had that discussion earlier. Oil is very difficult, but watercolor um, doesn't allow you lots of changes. So. All right, so I want to get into my streak of color, uh, light, that is. I'm going to use straight raw sienna with a much bigger brush. Hey, they said no music. <laughs> <laughs> Brushes do you prefer, Bill? I use uh, a, a brand called Escoda. They are Spanish, and the, the model is called Perla. Um, they're in synthetic, and they come to beautiful points. And as soon as I lose the point, the brush is gone. I get a new one because it's, it's worth spending the money and getting that those amazing points. I'm going to put a few light tones over here for the sun sitting on those buildings. I'm not going to be so concerned about doing a wash for that mountain in the back. I want to get right into working with these buildings, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing that right now. I'm going to start with the church, where that is primarily my focal point. What the heck was that noise? <laughs> I, I use a porcelain butcher tray, and I, I, love, I love to pull my paints right from the open areas. So there are no wells here. I just put them in. But when I'm done, I soak my sponge with water, put it in the middle, and I have a, a pressing seal, you know, a black pressing seal. And I put that over the butcher block, and the combination of keeping it airtight with that sponge, it's amazing. These paints are ready to go all the time. Okay, so. I'm going to start right down here, the shadow side of the church steeple. Now the people at home can see what Mr. Tiny did. What I like to do is put a little yellow underneath some of those architectural details, the overhangs where the light would reflect up into it. Now in watercolor, for those who are not, I, I'd like to get in and do the, uh, there's a, uh, a clock and, a, and like a louver. Uh, thing probably for the bells, but I can't do that till that dries, so I'm going to leave that alone. And while I have this nice color out, I'm just going to put some notes of tone and some of the shadows in some of these buildings over here.
I'll mix a little cobalt with it too, just to cool it down just a smidgen. That manganese is kind of yellow. My other go-to color is burnt sienna. I love burnt sienna. Mm. First, I'm going to put a little bit of that yellow underneath this eave right here on that building. But then I'm going to put a little burnt sienna in it too. Let that mix itself. Okay. For those of you who are not watercolorists. Um, the magic doesn't happen until much later, so uh, whenever I'm out painting in plain air especially, people come up to me and they look at it like at this stage and it's sort of, oh, that's nice. <laughs> but the true fun is, is in about, I, and I say this to them, I say, well, come back in about an hour because that's when it gets really Get a little yellow under there with that. What brand of paints do you prefer? Great question. I primarily use Moons um, but it depends on what the color is. I have a wonderful color. It, It's by Holbein and it's called Leaf Green, and it is the bomb. That and the other color, which is a Winter Newton, is called Paraline Green. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Paraline Green. It's a real dark green. You don't have to mix. It's, it's wonderful. It's well, you can't see in my palette, but it's it's that dark green right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, greens are the. I'm New sorry? Greens are oh, in New England in the summer. I mean, it's just green everywhere, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Again, this is, you have to be patient. This is the slow part. This is the tedious. Uh, I just want to get in this. Right, but it's important, right? It's very important. I guess, would you look at more while you're painting up this stage your first photo or the value? Uh, both. Okay. Um, the nice thing about doing a value sketch is that um, it kind of, my, your, my brain, whoever, whoever's doing it, kind of remembers what was okay. going on. Yeah. So it's, it's a good thing. You know, it just helps that um, mental retention. But I do look at it occasionally and go, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Because in watercolor, yeah, whoops, whoops is whoops is the key. Is that why you start with light? Yes. Because of the whoopsies. Yep. There are a lot of really famous professional watercolorists who go put in the darks first because they want to know what that dark value is going to be. And I admire them because I don't work that way. I need a bigger brush. I won't be here all night. This is really a glaze. This building is brick, but all the um, there's a lot of trim work on it, so all the trim work will be uh, this sort of uh, new in the shadows. What I need to look at the photo because there's some snow that this is this doesn't describe everything I need to do, so I have to keep looking at making sure I get what I want. Uh, just get this in there. I work in pastel, so I feel really 
a little bit ignorant? What what would glaze versus whatever else you might be putting on your paper? What um it. Watercolor is, is a series of glazes. So um, this this blue is the first glaze on the paper. I can build it up as I go along. So I have the trim colors all set to go, but the building is brick. So now I can just go with sort of a reddish purple, and on top of that blue, and that's a, that's another glaze on top. Uh, you know, I want that building dark, but I didn't, didn't take the time to figure out what color I want it to be. So I'm just gonna put. Um, I'm just going to put raw sienna on it for now, because I think it's going to be kind of a neutral color anyway. So, building here, so just for the glaze, I'm just going to go ahead and throw that on. I, I, um, in demonstrations like this, I like to have the the subject drawn. Um, usually, there's not enough time for me to draw this and paint it. Uh, so I don't want to waste your time. So this is funny. This is on a delay. I got caught. <laughs> oh, are you hearing it? Yeah, that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Don't worry. Yeah. No, well, I can turn the phone. It's like, it's like when your phone is like yeah. talking back to you or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hannah, can you put the value study in there so people on Zoom can just see it for a minute? Yeah. So for the workshop, do you think that we should have everything drawn out or um, I'm sorry can you tell me sure for the workshop should we have everything drawn out before? not before no okay. no no just um if you're taking the workshop I'll do a demo before we um uh before you paint so I'll do a demo um then bring your own subject from which to paint um and then uh, I will I will help you as you go along with the process, and then um, we'll do a, a crit before the uh, before the end of the. Just bring some notes of color along in here. A nice shadow that's going on. That roof right there. I'm afraid if I don't do it now, I'll I'll lose it. I'll forget it. This needs a glaze of blue over it anyway, so uh, I can go ahead and just do that right now. I'm gonna make it a little purple too, just just a bit. Put some rose matter in that. There's a there's a little uh, street light right here, so I'm just going to try to retain the white. I, um, I do use white gouache at the very end for anything that I've lost along the way, which is not a crime. Uh, it really, you know, you, you don't really want to you don't want to do that if you can avoid it because you'll spend your whole time dancing around uh, objects and then you don't get nice clean washes. So uh, it's better to go back later and put in white if you need it or black or whatever. Mm -hmm. The black you'll see later on. Do you have a mask out your whites? No, I don't. I don't like mask. I don't like it because um, when when you're done, when I'm done, um, it leaves, and you pull it off, it leaves a really hard white line, really hard. So I tend to go around correcting that, which is not a lot of fun. Actually, this is. This is probably going to need another glaze. It's going to dry back too light. It's one thing about watercolor. For those who don't paint in watercolor, it's um, it dries much lighter than what you put put on it. Darker. Darker. Now we are. Really? What's that? Is that 
acrylics dry darker. Acrylics dry darker? What? Oh yeah, really? Yeah, absolutely. I just had to match the wall color from my room. I used to do the mural, and I thought I had it dead on. I brought the hair dryer, and I came back the next day and did a whole section. Totally. Really? Yeah. Wow. No, I did not know that. Oh, yeah. Well, we have to admit something. Oh, thank you for paying attention. I'm just putting an initial glaze on the uh, street and sidewalk section here. I'm using a mop. This is a mop brush. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, a combination that's synthetic and natural hair mop. It's, I really like it a lot. I have a gigantic totally natural uh, Isabe mop and I, I don't I really don't like it it's too it's too soft is that an Escoda or something this else? is um this is a da Vinci ah. da Vinci Casanillo So as you can see from the teeth, probably everything is very, yeah, very muted. Um, there's a lot of snow over here, and even though I've got that yellow streak, I want to, want to keep that white for now. So I'm gonna kind of dance around that a little bit. It may be yellow later because of uh, the sunlight, but. You talking about snow, snow? Snow, snow. Oh. So you this, know, this the, is a winter painting. It's winter, yeah. Ah, yeah. okay. Oh, I should have said that. This is a winter painting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I go over those cars and stuff because they'll uh, they're always much much darker. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I do have a hair dryer. I don't think I'm going to need it. This room is very dry. One thing about if you don't paint with watercolors, one thing about watercolor is the atmosphere really changes the behavior of watercolor. Um, in a dry, forced, hot air room, it dries like that. Uh, and and as, as well as outside, if you're painting outside and it's a nice, hot, dry summer day, dries real fast. If, it, if it's wet, if it's damp, it never dries. It's like, oh, come on. Um, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to resolve this building. Let's get that one done and then we'll move across. And the, the best part's going to be when we do this back mountain in the background, because then hopefully everything will jump forward. <laughs> I need to put some blue on that before I go too much farther. Sometimes we take a break, Bill. Um, Please do. Do you fire up the bingo machine? Do we play? <laughs> <laughs> we usually have snacks, but um, we don't have any tonight. Well, there's two little. <laughs> that we'll all fight over. Um, so take a break whenever you want. Um, I'll just keep going. Okay. And you're, as I said, you're all welcome to come right up and see what's going on. Yeah, that's usually what people do during the breaks. Yep. Come up and take a look at everything. And you can um, ask me questions, but I'll keep legs. on. I'll keep on going just to keep it moving. Um, okay. Anybody would like to volunteer to bring? Refreshments <laughs> for our next meeting. That's oh, meeting great. Now month. you ask. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> the first Wednesday of the month, and everybody having boiled paint job. Yeah. Do you usually work standing up? Yes, I always work standing up. I, I don't really like to sit. I like to, I like to, to well, I can't really hear, but I like to back up. I like to have my arms free. Um, I just, I'm always standing. And usually, I have my easel. Usually, I paint this way, yeah. but because of the demonstration, and this is fine. I, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, doing it that way. I like how you have, you know, the, what is that? A, like a, a a paper towel thing or something to hold up? <laughs> yeah, 
Because yeah. You, it, because it, it, yeah. It, it doesn't stay up. This easel is pretty old, yeah. and uh, and it's it has let me down a few times. Yeah. I'm painting all of a sudden, it's like boom, falls yeah. down, and just scares the yeah. crap out of me. At the end. Yeah. Uh, I make this uh, sort of a muted green building on the darkest side. I'm gonna start with raw sienna. I'm gonna throw in some cobalt blue. When you paint, when you um, have your easel more upright, um, how do you keep the watercolor from not running right oh, down the sheet? Um, I like it when it runs down the sheet, and I don't chase it either unless it's something really pristine. But usually that adds to the whole painting, okay. that that nice drippy, drippy effect. Um, I, as a watercolorist, I always have a piece of white paper, the same paper, just so I can test the color before I put it on. I want that a little darker. I'm gonna put some perlene in it. Ooh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is dark. I'm going to just slightly Make the building a little bluer as it comes down, closer to the ground. Um, there's a, a very well-known watercolorist named Joseph Zabupik, who has this um, not theory, but explanation of the paint and how we paint and how we use it. And it's, it's a clock. And it goes uh, tea, coffee, tea, coffee, milk, cream, butter. And uh, right now, I'm still in the coffee. This is, this is a little almost cream, but it's still coffee. Um, meaning it, the, the, the water to pigment it's very similar to uh, to the to the texture and the and the opacity of coffee. The sky was tea. This yellow is tea. Is there a goal to get to butter, or is it more of just an analysis of an understanding of where you are in your in your? Um, the, Goal for me is to get to butter because butter is when the magic happens. Butter is the telephone poles and the street lights and the car shadows and people and all that. That's 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 what you, that's what I strive for. Um, and in all those paintings, I mean, I could show you like the Nantucket. You can kind of see what was the butter. It's the dark. It's the magic part. Uh, so I have to be a little finicky here, so uh, I'm just going to go right now. Now while that's a little damp, there's some architectural details in the top. I'm just going to throw those in because I'd like them there, but I don't want them too specific. So I'm just going to throw in some dark, still You know, like these, um, I had them drawn, but I can, oh, I can see them here, there. I like these, just these little triangular things up here. That are going to be really soft because that's still pretty wet. Um, I'll do the windows when it dries a little more. That's a little too much right now. I'm going to throw in some tone for those windows, the store windows down here. Leaving a little bit of white, you know, just because it's glass and we're looking through. And then I'll put some darks in a little bit in a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna move to this building here, and I'm just gonna start right in on that steeple. You know what? I'll turn this around for a second so you guys can take a look and see what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, 
What time do you guys take your break? Oh, uh, whenever. Okay. <laughs> now? <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I, it's only seven. I've only been going to half an hour. Um, you take it whenever you want. So that brush comes to a beautiful point. So I can get this nice little, there's a, there's like a, a little, uh, How about a short break at quarter up? It's fine with me if you're asking. <laughs> A little cadmium on the other side of that just to let it look like it's maybe gold on top. Okay, sorry, I need this. And the nice thing about an iPad is that I can also I can blow up, you know, I can yeah. just blow up what the details so I can see things. Um, I used to print everything out, but it's just crazy, it's so stupid. Um, Color was crappy, the waste of paper. Now I do everything on the iPad. It's awesome. What do you have your paper melting on? Um, this is a, a plastic, um, like um, corrugated plastic. Mm, the art mate? I guess it is. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah really are they nice. still in business? I have some of those, and they're ancient. Huh. I mean, they've been, I've had them for a really long time. I just, every now and then, I wonder if the, if the company is still around. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You yeah. could get, um, you could get, you can get corrugated uh, plastic at Lowe's or Home Depot and stuff, but it, but it doesn't come with a handle. You have to yeah. kind of build it yourself. Oh. Uh, I got to get rid of that cadmium. <laughs> Screw me up. When did you discover your talent? You had to buy it somewhere. I'm sorry, my my what? Your talent. Your my talent? talent? No, talent. Oh, talent. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. As a beat, you just said it was a beat. Porcelain. Oh, porcelain. Oh, 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 the the, the actual palette. I thought you meant my color palette. But no. This. Oh, I um uh, I had a tin um butcher block, but it warped. You know. It, you know, how metal kind of does. So uh, I saw this at Cheap Joe's. I just was snooping around in the catalog and saw it and went, ooh, I'll try that. And I've kind of stuck with it ever since. So. There are a couple more darks in there that I just want to get. I'm getting too dark right in there. Yeah. Just pull that down. Let's go right on to this chimney that's right next to it. And I'm going to do the whole chimney as if it was um, totally lit by the sun, but then I'll put the shadow side in after. So this is a glaze of the of almost the whole. Um, chimney, and then the, then the um, as I said, I'll put the shadow in, shadow side in, and then it will read three dimensionally. And while I have this color, do I have any more? Uh, the side of the building, um, there's some, there's some brick all in over in here. I'm just gonna throw it in as if I know exactly what I'm doing. And then this is all brick too, but this brush is too small. The funny thing about brushes, uh, I don't know if you, if, if you, uh, uh, agree with me or not, but <laughs> I have all these brushes and I end up using one the whole time. So. <laughs> yeah. On a painting this big, though, I am kind of moving around, but yeah, I really do. Uh, 
think I'm going to be so good and use lots of brushes and stuff, and I, I don't. There's a funny window right here that is certainly not the focal point or anything to do, but I'm going to kind of retain it if I can. One thing about a painting like this, even though it's stow and hopefully it can get into a, a gallery up in Vermont that someone might see and stuff like that, you do not have to be 100% faithful to whatever it is you're painting. In other words, no one's going to buy this painting and then take it out on the street and go, hmm, I don't know, that building. <laughs> you need to paint for your, I'm talking too much, I totally screwed something up. Talk about not doing the building accurately, there we go. Um, you need to paint for your, for your, for your idea. What drew you to this scene? You know, why are you painting this? I'm painting this because that church, when when I came around the corner, that church was just amazing. So I'm trying to, that's what my painting is about. So this part down here has to be really special. So that's why this mountain is hopefully going to do the trick. Uh, we'll see. Bill, do you mind if we take a picture, if I take a picture? So, you know, I might put it on the web. Absolutely. Go for oh, okay. it. Did you want me to stop and pose? No, like, no, no. no. So I've known Sue, Sue Sheridan, for quite a long time, but we've kind of lost touch with each other <laughs> because we used to do a lot with the Rhode Island Watercolor Society, but um, not so much anymore. So uh, this is kind of fun when she came around the corner and said, Bill, and I'm like, oh my goodness, yeah. wow. I think the last time I might have seen you was plein air painting somewhere Ooh. in Rhode Island. Jamestown? Were you maybe, with a bunch maybe, of people? Maybe, yeah. Maybe that, yeah. Was maybe. I with Mary Wojciechowski yeah, and Joan Maybe. Rochi? I don't know. It was, so, it was so long ago. Yeah, I don't do Come much on, with that. Old. <laughs> no, I don't do much with the, the Rhode Island Watercolor Society anymore. I keep saying I'm going to, and then I don't. Well, Is Al still painting? Al Albertson? Al is still painting. Oh Al is God. 102. Yeah. So he um, unfortunately oh. is totally deaf. He can't hear. Can't hear. Oh. But uh, but he is amazing. He is amazing an amazing person. man. Yeah. Yeah. He's not teaching anymore. I actually, if you if you follow the thread, I'm teaching his class at the Providence Art Club. So. Oh. Okay. So I hope to live to 102 <laughs> as well. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I first started doing watercolors was with Al every Saturday morning. Yeah, that was a tough class to get into. He uh, really had a crowd in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry folks, this is the boring part, that is for sure. But, uh, um, I, I, what I may end up doing is not finishing, finishing everything, but instead getting in that mountain so you can see where I'm headed. But let's, let's keep going. If you're, if you're no, patient, what? if you don't mind. No, this is important. Laying the groundwork. We have mice. What the heck is that? Uh, no idea. What's that? <laughs> 
those last ones. <laughs> There's a little bit of some lighter tree stuff down in here that I'm going to throw in. That's got too much color in it. I'm going to add some glue to that just to knock it down. I mean, it's in theory pretty easy for people, but then again, it's easy to leave. That means they have to do a document for it. But an image into a document. No. All they have to do, I just looked even tested it. So this is what the form looks like. Yeah. Oh, upload something? Great. Right. So you'll get to upload it. Sometimes it's hard to do the scene again. I have totally screwed up a perspective line here. I gotta fix that right there. I'm gonna make this side much darker now. I don't know, is it what you thought it was or is it like <laughs> Wow. Looks a lot better on the TV. I inevitably put my hand right in what I'm doing. <laughs> Great. Who's just this sword? Trudy? Oh, I know. That person has a dog. Oh, you're right. I, I, I bet you that's Judy. <laughs> Judy Butler, they have a dog. She's a Judy, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't realize I was off mute. No, that's okay. okay. It's we, can entertaining. Hear, we can hear your dog. <laughs> no, I, no, I don't have my dog with me, so it's not me. It's oh, not no. you. Oh, wow. No, it's okay. not me. It's a, a, the other person. Who, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Well, if you had a, um, a looser subject, 
Bill? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. If you had, like, for example, a floral, how much pre preliminary sketching would you do? I'm so glad you asked me that question because that I was going down that to explain that and I and I stopped for some reason. Um, when I talk about pre-drawing, this scene is complex, so I don't want to waste your time. But when I'm doing a scene like this, this is I hardly drew. I drew maybe it indicated that 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 um, maybe lightly drew the cows, just indicated a line from where this was going to go, and that's it, and then off I go. So, but when I do this or something like this guy, you know, this takes more a little more drawing because it, because of the perspective. I need to get the perspective right. So, these well, I'll go over here. These two I did plain air, which is painting outside. This was in Florida just recently, and this was in Providence this fall. Tell them how you do plain air in the winter and what you do with your water. <laughs> you're you're divulging my secrets. We had this conversation earlier. Okay, but before I do, do you mind if I change this water? It's getting really skinny. Uh, you can keep some for next week for the public Yeah. Uh, 
That's just um uh, this is just um Montreal. Okay, no. 
uh, we assumed it was Pinky Bear, but we really don't, don't know. And, the, and the name is so, it could be a name that begins with an R, or a T, or we just, we just have no idea. And uh, all the research that we did, couldn't find any information. <laughs> so, I love her because I love the story. Yeah. How old is this Pinky Bear? So I believe it was probably purchased in the 60s, 60s or early 70s. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the canvas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there a is there a way to know an age of a painting by? Now, what consistency would you call that? This is uh, butter. butter. Oh, that's all the way to butter. Yeah, this yeah. Is yeah. cream of butter. Definitely. Okay. This is that's 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 that
cab damage, yeah. which has got some light stuff going on. Uh oh, too close to that building. Watch out. Oh, in, in, in value, so I'm going to, in color rather than chroma. I love that dome, dome, uh, yeah. that, that nice. That's watercolor for you. Yes. Yeah. You can do that, you know, you just yeah. let the paint do its thing. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that you usually paint vertically and, and just let it run as opposed to, I mean, like this slant is good. Yeah, but looks like this slant is good, but I, yeah, I usually I'm a little more vertical than this. So do you let it run within the, I guess, the value of what you're doing, like say if it's in your name? Yep. Yeah, I can run it. You know, I'm being very tight tonight with it. Yeah. <laughs> The bead, right? Isn't that what Sabu Spick talks oh, about? Oh, the, the bead, bead is bead is when you're 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 going across and it, it comes down with you and you get that real nice bead. Mm -hmm. Like a wash. Drag the wash. So you don't have lines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah correct. So you don't have lines. Or nice waves. Kind of like you turn. Boy, that sky, it was, it originally it seemed so dark, you know, yeah, look at how it's faded right down. Yeah, that's, 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 that's yeah. 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 I like how you can just make something darker immediately if you want. Right, yes. So um, the value of that building is going to work much better than that for mm -hmm. when I'm yep. done. Right, right. Um, Your eye slips right off. Right. It keeps going oh. off. So I, how about just for fun? How about if I throw in a, this truck? You want to see me do that? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, I probably shouldn't have been so energetic to do such a big painting tonight. Sorry. Oh, okay. How's that? How do you decide on the value? Um, I worked on my value sketch. I actually want to start it. Oh, color! I just said. Oh, green. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> probably maybe maybe I may put a washer over some sort of sienna over this. Okay. Okay. Now before I let this green go, just. Thank you. So you didn't carefully work out say color scheme before. No, I did not. Sorry, I'm painting as I go along. It's not the best. Color gets all the praise, but value does all the work. Wait, what is that? Color value. Color does all the value. Gets all the praise, but value does all the work. Color value does the work. Yes, yeah. yeah. that what it is? Yeah. Chatting on the phone. Are you saying what color? As long as it's the right value. Are you the one of your sort of the pack that you work vertically will that be? Um well ten people I can no, I probably they can probably sit around me and see that. So you can't like you can the here is even the best way. Joey, get it. You yeah, appreciate you know, so, yeah. yeah. all here. So, yeah. Oh, no, I'd be great. All right, Trump, so that you do the <laughs> All right, so the secret with cars and trucks and the vehicle. Well, first of all, drawing it in perspective, which I think I've got. If you if you're putting in a car or a truck, think of it as a shoebox. So when you draw it, put it in as a just a box in perspective, however that perspective would be. And then try to imagine that car in the box and go for it. But here's here's the here's the fun part. So if you get the windshield in, it'll sorry. So you get in the windshield and it explains the car right away. If you get it in right. And usually it's pretty dark too. So I'm going to so already, just that alone starts to say, drop. I could use a wet one. 
So I'm going to have to say that this is sort of a barometer. <laughs> Why not? But the thing is, like, I take a while and I take the detail. And so I like to tell you that you are also a pastelist. So I like mean, that's what I but did. Yeah, yeah, you did because you were like, oh, so this is what you want to see. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's 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 right. That
Yeah. Because people are like, I find yeah, I can like, always in the 12, 12 and 14, and then occasionally in this gigantic 20. Yeah, 20. it is. I bought the smaller ones. I have such an awesome point chime. I can tell you chime. Right now. Right now. That wakes me all the time. Mine are 21 and 17. I was getting to my school. I started doing it. I that's right. It is. I actually stepped out like the 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 <laughs> so here we are. So here we are. Uh, I feel like I'll do the mail. I'll do the oh, mail. Oh, I've gotten an email. Okay, from all so of this is what I do. Sometimes I know. Mark, if you right, notice, just, if tomorrow, say, sunny or not. But look under the floor. It's one of the well, there was darkest shadows. Shadow. So there was a pastel. I was like, oh, I'm going to that, and I can't go to that and do comments for that. Yeah. We appreciate that. Well, because you don't have to be. Yeah, exactly. and I appreciate that. I, I thought I can do it. There's no reason not to. I'm feeling a little more courageous about what I create. Like, you know, and um, and it feels like waking up. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to take a long day to build that up. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm just going to be like, let's go. Like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My son is an EMT, so oh my God. he sees a lot. He really doesn't want to hear it. That's yeah, okay. well, I mean, he, it's interesting. He knows what's, he knows ahead of time what's happening. What's happening. My, my brother-in-law is an ER ICU doctor. And if not, I'll just, I'll just they get it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 And like so it just, yeah. opening it up and then and then two weeks remember. later you're finding glitter never makes it. Just like it just it's just yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah when you have to make a thing to look like a child or work with the Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you teach art? Yeah, I'm a high school art teacher. You look at me, my back is way higher. Yeah, so these are actually great for me because it's a good, uh, you know, like different things that you can say and they're good reminders for me to see them. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, it's a person who is. So here's this guy. Um, I was talking on the phone, so that shoulder's higher, and this one's lower with this trunk, but, but his head would be cut. I didn't do that, so never mind. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so, but he's got a hand in his pocket right here. He's walking along. So usually I always do one leg. And then just indicate another one. I don't actually put it in. Um, and this is where I wanted to show you about the car. Let's, let's say, let's say he's in a case or something. So he's walking along. This is where a nice shadow will just Now that looks really goofy, but in a painting, it works. And it look, it'll look at the, his legs are goofy there, but it'll, it'll look like he's walking along. The other thing to always remember is that. Um, is that there's usually pretty much has to be one foot underneath the head. Oh, yeah. Okay. No matter what they're doing. So, um, because you'll fall over. Yeah. So here's his head right now. And so here's a guy or a woman 
that's, that's you know, leaning way over, okay? So maybe they're shoveling. I, I don't know what I'm wondering what I'm they're doing. But, but one leg is going to be right there. So it's going to be a recovery or something like that. But, um, but that's what that one foot is going to support the bottom. So what happens when you, you know, uh, all right, just, just for goofy sake. So here's the head again. So if we put a body in, but the legs are down here. It just it's just goofy. You just have to bristle all over. Exactly. And you're just getting one leg. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.